I'm just freestyling on this, so I'm just waiting for it. I just want to see what's the next. And since we are recording, I can as well use the tape. I remember them days. If you're shooting a movie, you really had to have the whole like um, the tape had to run, and you couldn't add extra stuff because you ran out of tape. Nowadays, you can record to infinity and beyond. Oh, oh, my thing is back. There we go. You see? You see? It can work. I had no idea I was chatting with the brilliant mind behind my existence. <laughs> So it's interesting to me that someone actually commented on my previous video of the top five. If you haven't watched it, the introduction, you should go check it out. And he said, what a useless video, because he has not been able to use the, his top five for anything. And it got me thinking because it's a ESP32. So basically, you can be able to write code and design whatever you want to design with it. So the first thing I did was to flip my tab 5 to the other side because technically it cannot it has a weird stand to it. So I flipped it to this side and then I started working on it. So I'm using an Arduino IDE to be able to run the code to the tab 5 because it has a USB-C. Let's just see it first and then we'll get into the other details later. This was the first initial concept. I have the local time, I have the date, weather, the DSK2 radio, news, or whatever else I want to add. I wanted to show the possibilities that you can be able to do with the Tab 5. This is one of the interfaces that I was happy with, whether I want to add a calendar, whether I want to add multiple pages, and then each page will have uh, a task to do. For example, I can add one page for connecting to the Wi-Fi and all those other things. The next page I can have a media player, the next page I can have a, a switch control and then on and on. It's one of the interfaces that I designed and uh, with this interface it has a slide. You can be able to slide on the, it's still using the touch but it's not 100% perfect because you can see it has a bit of a glitch but so far I'm able to add the calendar and add time but still I need to also install the APIs and all those things which is not such a process I just wanted to have the interface running smoothly and then from there I can be able to tweak it and add whatever is needed I can be able to switch on the if I had lights I could be able to switch on the lights and switch them off once the thing works I still have a, a, a great amount of flicker touch it but you can also activate something so I just touch and then it scans and then rotates to the other side so it was a cool additional thing that I thought okay I can do that uh, it's technically supposed to connect to the Wi-Fi I, I'm still having issues on that but I will figure it out and we have the date the time I can be able to add let's say radio I can be able to add uh, album playing or SD files playing uh, connected to an API to get the current time that I'm still working on. I just needed to get the interface smooth. Not bad. It's a good start with a slight pause. It's such a long process and that's what I was trying to explain is it takes time. So well the product came out a couple of months ago you probably need it need to give it an a year or so before you get good interfaces or you get good uh files that people have uploaded because even me by the time i get to put my stuff on github it will take a long time because i really i really need to run it and then use it and then debug it and then 
do all those things to be able to be comfortable to say I can share it. So if you got your top five now, it's a time to experiment and just um, work on something. And then, you know, you can now be with the person who designed, like the person who designed Bruce um, probably sat with it, uh, sat with his for a long time to be able to come up with it. So, okay, this is, I'll just give you a brief de description on how I connected my M5 Tab 5 to Arduino I IDE and then what I needed to do in order for it to work. The first step that you need to do is first of all to make sure that you have connected because you're connecting it via USB. So you make sure that you have connected that. And then once you've connected that, you need to come to tools. Mine is already done, but you need to come to tools. And then once you've come to tools, you select the board ESP32, and then you scroll all the way down to all the M5 five products and choose whatever product you're using. So for me, because I'm using the M5 Tab 5, then I select that. Another critical thing that you need to have is your M5 library. It's important to have that, otherwise nothing is going to work. So you do the M5 GFX, and then you install that. If you don't have this, um, wait. yeah, you can, you can see it. So if you don't have this, then you don't have the library that you can be able, first of all, to get the examples. And then you can also come to here and do M5 Unified. And then you get also the same. It has more libraries to use. Uh, you have downloaded your library, M5 Unified, M5 GFX. You download it. Then you can be able to come here to Examples. And when you go to Examples, you can be able to go all the way down from the files that you have and then you have the basic files you have the demo and the same and also through this you, you don't have to have the m5 uh, stack banner to be able to return it to original look you know the factory setting you don't have to you can do it directly from here now for the person who commented on the introduction video i'd also stated that it's up to you to customize your tab to be able to do a specific task. So you have to have the knowledge or someone has the knowledge or get the files from GitHub where someone is able to give you the code to be to uh, for a particular function. But the people who get these type of systems because they're ESP uh, 32s and whatever ESP products, they are using it for a specific task. They're not buying it as a plug and play system. If you get it as a plug and play, then maybe you install things like Bruce and others which struggle with the M5 tab. Then I would advise you to get the computer or another device from their product that you can be able to use. But if you're using the tab, the tab with the screen, you can be able to monitor, you can be able to do certain functions with it like uh, home automated systems or gardening systems or factory systems to to sort out things or monitor your whatever system you have to see the temperature and all those type of things. So you also need to connect it to other devices. What I mean, so you need units like this or like this to be able to be added to it or motors like uh, this particular one so, or motors like this to be added to the system and then it can be able to control it. But for this mainly will be uh, systems like for, for, for the, for the web, like hot systems for the weather and all that to be able to function together with it. You can connect an external camera to monitor wildlife or to do whatever you need to do with it. I don't know. And that's, I think the most basic question you have to ask yourself, what am I getting it for? What am I using it for? Then once you've gotten that, you've gotten your MTAB uh, 5, you've chosen your system, then you can come here and uh, say run the code. And then in the future, I shall share the files. So I just wanted to touch on that. So the tab 5 might look like it's not working, but they showed you the examples so that you can go and design your own system. I hope you're going to test and run and try different ideas. Let me know, like if you have any questions,
drop them i'll be willing to help you this is the process so uh, feel free to go and try it out remember you can use the demo versions or the the code that you're given for touch to design something you can work on that you can build up on that don't be limited and say i cannot code just take that and then experiment change color change uh dimensions of something and then see what's its cause and effect cause and effect and then once you've done that and seen the cause and effect then you can easily now be able to say oh i can change color using this or i can be able to change the dimensions there i can create a box i can create man i have a flu but i'll see you guys on the flip side uh take care of yourself keep warm don't hesitate to design something